So I was just searching. I don't know why, but I will have another video after this. But since there's a stander out from DeWalt, it also got to be a zero turn. And I just searched it and it was here like an angel. All right. Um, so obviously this is, you know, um, they don't, well, they do. They call it a commercial grade mower and it's all going to depend on the pumps. Let me take a look. ZT3100. So technically the 3100 is still considered uh, a residential pump, um, but it's really, you know, top of the line, you know, homeowner. And I know plenty of people that use the 3100 and the 2800 actually commercially. So um, definitely, a you know, a commercial grade mower. Um, now, the one thing about this, guys, like I was saying in the other video, is, you know, even looking at this, this really doesn't look like any other zero turn that I know of on the market. So, you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see. Now, the actual um, display board here or where you have your PTO, your, you know, start ignition, your hour meter, okay? Um, that's kind of looks like Cub Cadet style. And someone said this, you know, it looks like a Cub Cadet. Well, that's really only because of the colors. Um, if you look at their new mowers, they're not really, they don't really look like this. All right, now, and plus MTD, I don't know. Obviously, MTD is another bigger company. You know, I, like I mentioned Toro and, you know, Husqvarna. And so they own Cub Cadet, MTD. They think they make Craftsman snowblowers still. Um, you know, Yard Man. Uh, yard Man. Um, you know, snowblowers and push mowers like the Craftsman. I believe they make the Craftsman push and self-propelled mowers, MTD. But, you know, would not be surprised, like I said, if this is, you know, I don't think it's licensed to a degree, but they might have went to somebody to kind of design this unless this is all done internally and they've been w working on this for a while. Um, but even like the, uh, the lap bars, I I've never seen them kind of like this on, you know, any really other zero turns. And it is a little bit different setup on the, um, display there again, where your PTO switches, your throttle and stuff like that. It, it does kind of look like Cub Cadets, but. I want to say Cub Cadets is on the other side, too, which is kind of weird. But anyway, you got 3,100 pumps. You know, it's a $6,000 mower. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good. You got a, a looks like you got a, a roll bar that can be folded down, you know, in case you're going under some tree branches and stuff like that. I pretty much always keep mine down. I, you know, but if you're on hills... Or you do have a sloped um, yard, or if you are going to buy this for you know commercial work on those properties, you can put the roll bar up. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Um, and again, you can buy this. And actually, my man who lives in Texas says they already have this out to buy, like it's in the store. So, man, they did a great job not telling anybody about this. And what's great about it, too, guys, is you also have the Kawasaki motor engine, not only on the zero turn, but also on the stander. Now, again, this is the 48-inch. I'm sure they're going to have a 54-inch as well. Um, 
they just don't have it up on Depot's site yet. All right. Um, built to perform for the most demanding workloads. I mean, it's a nice looking mower. It looks, you know, pretty well built. Designed for long hours, stay protected day in and day out with the top of the line ergonomic and custom customizable comfort features. We got the well, you got the nice little um, engine guard with the DeWalt. I, I think people are gonna buy these. You also look at this for five thousand. So this is a six thousand dollar mower, and you're getting a um, suspension seat. Usually, yeah, I mean, you're just about, you know, $7,000 really before you see them. Now, obviously, we just, Ego is going to have one on their Z6 stamped deck residential mower. Um, and you're getting the Kawasaki FS engine. So, it's a little bit of an upgrade, you know, over... You know, a lot of mowers in this price range have the FR, but it does say RFR. I guess you can get pick what engine, and I'm sure it's going to have a price difference. So this could be cheaper. Um, when we go back, I'll see what engine it has. Now, this has a four-year warranty, all right? Um, also made in the USA. Yeah. And there's a, what, a Z... Four year, 600 hour limit on the Z148, 800, and the Z160, and an 800 hour limit on the Z254 and the Z260. So they're not even on this site yet. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, this is the this is their entry level. So this is the Z148. So is it, the Z160 is probably this mower in a 60 inch all right that's why this is called the z148 and the z160 um the other one is probably and this has what the fr engine okay so this is the cheaper engine so the fs might just be the same mower with a better warranty but i bet you there's a couple I don't think it's the same mower. I think there's definitely probably bigger tires, maybe better pumps, and then they're throwing in the FS engine. But anyway, just craziness. You know, is Makita, is Milwaukee going to come out with a zero turn next? We'll have to see. Peace.